The last exercise that I have for us in getting a nice stable neck position during the row is the push-up. Now the push-up seems weird because it's a pushing exercise, it's not a rowing exercise, but every time that I have seen somebody do that, that neck forward thing during their row, I see them do it during their push-up too. It's because your body is not comfortable stabilizing when I when it's you know facing the ground and that's the only way it knows how to do it the only thing it can do is push the head forward arch the back a little bit more and shut the abs off it turns the back muscles on compresses them like crazy and that's what gives me the stability to not fall over and to actually do the exercise but I think what you need to do is you need to make it easier you need to probably really incline your push-up, even if you're a strong person who can knock out 20 push-ups, we've got to make them look differently. So you're going to be doing something completely different than, than what you might have called a push-up before. It's, it's just going to totally reevaluate how you look at this. And now I've, I've made a video or a hundred about push-ups and handstands and stuff. All of those things are related to this neck stability. So if this doesn't fix all of your problems, maybe you need to go watch some of those and try to look for some of the other mistakes that you're making. But the big thing is what we've already talked about in the row. Don't let your head fall forward as you're doing your push-up. It's really easy to bring the head forward so that you can get the arms back at the bottom of the push-up. Now, what you need to do is you need to think active on your hands even as you're lowering. So as I lower down this way, I need my arms to come back, but I don't need my head to come forward. People generally push their head forward just because it feels like they're going lower. And that's admirable, but that's not the point of this exercise. I'd rather you not go as low and keep your neck, your shoulders, all of those muscles in the right positions. Use the correct muscles to drive you up instead of shifting a lot of the burden to your, you know, your shoulder joint or your neck joints. You know, all this stuff is especially important if you have any history of neck issues, right? Um, I, you know, I had a guy this morning, he does the same thing. And so when he gets tired, we got to dial him back and you got to pull yourself down like this and you got to push away like this, but I can't lose my strong, stable neck position throughout that.